us today about Barbie and the effects that she has on girls, especially girls, because many really guys don't play with Barbies, um, in their childhood in relation to self-image and self-esteem. So I'm going to ask you guys some questions. What are some things about women in our culture today that are thought to be sexy or desirable or encouraged? You can just say them all. Big boobies. Big boobs. Barbie has big boobs. Anything else other than boobs? Skinny. Do you guys want to say anything that is desirable? Beautiful personalities. <laughs> That's a great answer. Anything else? Long Does height hair. matter? What'd you say? Long hair. Long hair. Okay, Long what about legs. height? Long legs. Okay, so stubby Long legs aren't exactly desirable. Um, does eye color matter? Yeah, not really. Okay. So boobs, height, weight, eye color, hair, we have kind of an idea. Um, okay, and then the description of Barbie is that she is six feet tall, weighs 100 pounds, her sizes are 39, 19, 33, and a bonus is that she can never get pregnant because she doesn't have any reproductive organs which is every man's dream, supposedly. Um, so, clearly we're talking about them. Um, so, I'm gonna show you a picture. This is a picture of a woman um, with the measurements drawn on her of what Barbie, um, Barbie's body would be like, and she's um, supposed to be like an average woman in society, her size, um, so it's kind of creepy. And um, this is a picture of Barbie as a life-size doll, what she would look like if her proportions as a doll would be put into a human realistic object, which is super gross as well. Um, and then this is Barbie with and without makeup, which is also really gross. Um, okay, so clearly um, in regards to the effect of young women in culture, um, I'm just going to give you guys some uh, material on the history of Barbie and why she's important. Um, so, um, okay, so Ruth Handler is the lady that created Barbie. Um, and it's kind of disturbing what her inspiration for Barbie was. It was a German doll called Build Lily, um, which was a prostitute doll, which was sold primarily to men, which is really uncomfortable to think about. Um, every second, three Barbie dolls are sold with um, 31,536,000 seconds in a year. Um, so that's 3.6 billion in annual sales. Um, more than 105 million yards of fabric is used to make all of her accessories and stuff. Um, 27000 is the highest auction price for an original 1959, which is when it came out, Barbie doll in mint condition. Um, Barbie never married. Her longtime boyfriend was Ken, but the couple split in 2010, which was very sad. Um, and also a great thing to be teaching kids is that you should just stay with your longtime boyfriend instead of getting married. Being sarcastic, obviously. And then the first Barbie doll sold in 1959, it cost $3, and now it sells for $13.99. Um, the number one doll property in the U.S., and it was has been banned from 15 countries, um, mostly around Saudi Arabia because it doesn't uh, express Arab values. Um, okay, so life-size Barbie proportions, just to give you an idea of how unrealistic she is and what she's communicating to girls or how their bodies should look like. Um, if she were a real human, she would be five foot nine. Um, so to give you an idea, I'm five ten, so she would be a little taller than me. She would have a 39 inch bust, which would be a D cup. So, uh, girls probably know how big this is, but guys, a D cup would be like Kim Kardashian or like Marilyn Monroe. Um, so, well endowed. And 18 inch waist, 33 inch hips, and a size 3 shoe, which is suitable for toddlers from ages 1 to 3 years old. So, clearly, very unrealistic. Um, Neil Katz from CBS News said this about her. Um, she'd likely not be capable of menstruation because there isn't room in her middle half for any reproductive organs. She'd have to walk on all fours. She would have preposterous spine and back problems because of the size of her breasts and would have a BMI, which is a body mass index associated with extreme anorexia. So, um, so clearly Barbie, Barbie is popular and extremely unrealistic. Um, so can you guys think of anything that would be positive about Barbie? She's friends with everybody. She's yeah. friends with everybody. Anything else? She had, a, she could be anything. She had a lot of different jobs. Right, yeah, so she, she had, had lots of different, different, different jobs. Yes, she so that is one positive thing. Um, and a lot of careers that Barbie had um, were very popular with men, and so it kind of encourages kids that they can be whatever they want, and they can also do anything that men can do. So it can promote feminism and just ability to dream. You can do whatever your heart longs for. Um, 
Another thing that could be positive about Barbie, just to know the backstory of Ruth Handler who created her, um, she was a cancer survivor that didn't have a mom, and she was one of 15 kids. Um, so she was exposed um, to women being things other than a mom because she didn't have one, obviously. So that was kind of one of her inspirations for creating Barbie, is that she could be lots of different things other than just the role of a mother. Um, and she also had a double mastectomy, and so um, she was a cancer survivor. And then soon after her mastectomy, she, had, um, she created the first breast prosthetic for women who had breast surgery removed due to cancer, which is cool. Um, so knowing the inspiration behind it is nice, other than the prostitution doll being the inspiration. Let me just put that aside. Um, so there's clearly some positive things about Barbie, and then um, the story of how she was created kind of makes you not like her um, a little less. Um, so now I'm gonna go into just like psychological studies on um, the effects that they can have on kids. So a study was done by Harvard psychologists on the relationship between eating disorders and Barbie dolls. So it's estimated that 18 million people in the US have an eating disorder, and only 10 to 15 of them are male, which obviously leaves the 85 to 90% to be women. 80% of those females are under the age of 20. 75 of them said that they started worrying about their weight when they were between the ages of four and six, which is the age that most kids would get a Barbie. 95% um, of the girls who have or had an eating disorder admitted that Barbie played a huge role on their influences in behavior and looks and the way that they thought about their bodies. So I personally never played with Barbies when I was a kid. Um, I have eight brothers and we also grew up on a farm, so Barbies just were not a part of life. Um, and I was also, grew up in Guatemala, so we were constantly traveling. It was just not something that we played with. We also didn't get a TV until I was 12, so I wasn't exposed to a lot um, like Barbies and toys, just in general. Um, so there's clearly some positive things about Barbies and negative as far as um, just the picture of what a woman should be like that they put in a kid's mind. Um, so. The purpose of this is just kind of to encourage you guys that regardless of whether kids play with Barbies or not, um, and this applies to guys too, uh, obviously to girls, but to guys because you could have daughters someday, or um, we'll be speaking into your daughter's life about how she feels about herself, hopefully you will do that. Um, so just encouraging us, if in my position when I become a, a parent, I don't think that I will let my kids play with Barbies. I know they'll be exposed to it at other friends' house, but um, I just kind of won't like to fill their minds with other examples. Um, and so my main point is that our kids can play with Barbies or not, but if the main point um, is that we need to be teaching them and being intentional about self-image and um, self-esteem and equipping them um, with counteracting all the things that is fed to them in our society about self-image. So, and that's it. Thank you.